Hello, welcome to another video. Thank you for joining me. If you watched my last video, you'll know that my latest challenge involves trying to run 50 miles solo. So it's imperative in the build up to that challenge that I maintain some sort of strength work. As it has been proven that complementing your running training with some basic strength work does help you stay injury free and also improves, can improve running economy. And I definitely find that my body does tend to break down and I get little niggly injuries if I don't maintain some basic strength resistance exercises. So I do have a gym membership and I will try and get there around two times a week, but there are also some really basic things you can do at home to, to keep up with a nice strength training routine as a runner. And I like to use a good old kettlebell. <laughs> and today I'm just gonna run through my six favorite exercises to do with a kettlebell um, that help with strength training for runners. So I've got my kit on and I'm ready to do a little bit of work and we're gonna go through some basic techniques of these six exercises. So hopefully if you're a beginner to kettlebell work, this will be useful to you. And then towards the end of the video, I'll um, go through how I might put these six exercises into a workout routine. I would say all of these exercises can be made easier or harder, but that's probably a bit too much content for this one video. But if you wanna make it easier, if you're a complete beginner, then maybe just ditch the kettlebell. So the goal of the following exercises is to target as many muscle groups as possible. There's no point as runners in isolating individual muscles. That just wouldn't be in line with our goals as runners. So as well as the, as well as the goal of targeting large muscle groups, there's also a stability element to most of these exercises. There's pointless being, being strong as a runner if you're not stable in those positions. So let's jump into the exercises, starting with exercise number one, which is the goblet squat, which targets the hamstrings, the glutes, the quads, the core, the arms. So as you can tell, um, really hits what we're, we're trying to get after here and hits a lot of different muscle groups. Your hands should grab the kettlebell by the horns and from a standing position, push your hips back with the chest up, maintaining a nice flat back throughout. You can go past that 90 degree point of the knees if your mobility allows you to maintain a nice flat back and upright chest. Drive back to standing and squeeze the butt muscles as you do so. Exercise number two is the good old forward lunge. Oh, I really love a lunge. So running is a, a unilateral movement, which means that you're using one limb at a time to propel yourself forward. And the lunge is really good at mimicking this unilateral movement pattern. Uh, it's really good um, for working all the muscles of the lower legs and it, it requires good coordination and stability. So yeah, it's a really good, really good exercise for runners. So starting, standing tall with the kettlebell held in front upside down by the horn. Step forward and lower your back knee to the floor, creating a 90 degree angle at both knees. The front knee should track the toes so as not to allow the knee to collapse inwards. Keep your chest upright throughout, avoiding leaning over. Push off from your front leg and return to standing. So I said I loved a lunge and the third exercise is a lateral lunge. So running is an exercise that you spend pretty much all the time in one plane of motion. So you're in the sagittal plane, which is like the forwards and backwards plane. So in running, we're just kind of moving forwards in that one plane of motion. And it's very important that you don't ignore the other planes of motion in order to stay nice and healthy and mobile. So that's where the lateral lunge comes in. So the lateral lunge is performed in a different plane of motion. So that's actually the frontal plane. So we're going out to the, out to the side. And yeah, so it's an exercise I really love to do as a runner. Stand with the kettlebell upside down by the horns. Take a large step out to the side, lowering into a lunge, bending the knee. The feet should remain pointing forwards or very slightly out and the knee should track over the toes. In other words, the knee should not collapse inwards. Remain facing forwards the whole time and push back up to standing. Now I could provide you with many more lunge variations but let's move on to something a little bit different. And exercise number four is a single leg Romanian deadlift. So this exercise targets the hamstrings and the glutes and really provides a good opportunity to work that unilateral st stability that is so important for runners. It's important during this exercise to keep a nice flat back and this movement is all about hip, hip, 
This movement is all about hinging from the hip. Throughout this movement, the back should remain completely flat. This movement is achieved by hinging at the hip. So starting in a standing position with the kettlebell in one hand, reach the kettlebell towards the floor by hinging at the hip and lifting the leg of the same side that you are holding the kettlebell. The standing leg should have a slight bend. Now aim for the back leg and torso to form a straight parallel line with the floor. Then raise back up to standing position with control. So getting that hip hinge right is essential and can be quite tricky if you've not really concentrated on it before. Get it right and it can help build movement patterns over time that will keep you strong and healthy. So the next exercise we're going to do is a half kneeling shoulder press. So this exercise requires you to resist rotation and helps recruit muscles of the hip and the core as well as sort of adding uh, an upper body element uh, to these exercises as well. So in the half kneeling position, start with the kettlebell in the front rack with the arm on the same side as the backwards leg. Remain facing forwards and press up to the sky. Finishing with the palm facing forwards and the upper arm as close to the ear as possible. Lower back down in a controlled manner. So the final exercise we're gonna finish on is a classic, the old kettlebell swing. So there's a bit more of a, a power element to this exercise compared with the others. Um, and it's really good at recruiting the muscles of the posterior chain. Um, and also is good at raising your heart rate quite nice and quickly so you'll get to test your strength and power at higher heart rates. So starting with the kettlebell on the floor slightly in front of you and between your feet, it should be shoulder width apart. Bending slightly at the knees, but mainly hinging at the hip, grab the kettlebell with both hands in the overhand grip and pull it back between your legs to create momentum. Drive your hips forward using your glutes, sending the kettlebell up to shoulder height once standing tall. The upward motion of the kettlebell is not achieved by lifting it with your arms, it is essentially powered by using hip drive. To string reps together, use the controlled momentum of the kettlebell on its downward path back between your legs. So there are my six favorite kettlebell exercises for runners. Hope you found those useful. So alongside my personal training qualification, I do have a number of other, other qualifications, um, including a certificate in kettlebell instruction. So if you do have any questions, uh, do put them in the comments below and I, I'll see if I can answer them for you. Um, but yeah, let's, let's see how maybe we would put this together as a workout. So I'm gonna put this workout in the description below as well if you're interested. I'm just gonna bring it up on my computer um, just so I get it right. So a typical workout with these six exercises um, would be as follows. So I'd probably start with 30 kettlebell swings, followed by a one minute rest. And then I'll do three sets of 10 reps goblet squat. Um, that's with 90 second rest in between each set. I would follow that with a two minute rest. And the next one, I'll try and explain this without this being too confusing. So I'll do 10 alternating left leg forward front lunges and left leg lateral lunges. So I'd do a forward lunge with my left leg, then I'll do a lateral lunge with my left leg, forward lunge, lateral lunge. I'll do a total of 10 on my left side, and then I'd superset that with my right side. So total, total, a total of 20 reps in that superset, and I'd repeat that three times with, again, a rest of 90 seconds in between each superset. We'll then rest for two minutes, and then we'll move on to three sets of eight reps on each side of the half kneeling shoulder presses, resting 90 seconds in between sets, followed by a two minute rest, and then we do three sets of eight reps of straight leg Romanian deadlifts, and then one minute rest, and we'll finish off with 30 kettlebell swings. So that's it, yeah, I'm, I'm off to lunge around a bit more. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, do me the favor of hitting the like button and consider subscribing if you could. That would be awesome. And I'll catch you in another video.